Season 7, Episode 2, and I guess I've been fully accepted. That's right, friends. Here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, we are following the saga that is episode, well, Season 7 of Rick and Morty. We're doing reviews of each episode and just take it a look because we've reviewed tons and tons of Rick and Morty stuff before. But this is a little different because they fired Justin Roiland. We did a review of the previous episode, the the premiere. And at this point, I'm just going to have to come out and say it. It doesn't seem that different to me. The voices seem fine. They're, they're fine. There doesn't seem to be as much drunk Rick anymore. But from what I can tell... It's, it's not impacting my analysis or enjoyment or non-enjoyment of the episode. And this episode seemed just like a, any old Rick and Morty episode. Ooh-wee! It just, it was fine. It was okay. It wasn't hilarious, but it was still funny. I laughed. I had a couple chuckles. So let's talk a little bit about the episode and where it came from. It's a little dark, uh, but let's get into it. Uh, this is from, uh, I literally just finished watching the premiere. <clears throat> this is from comicbook.com. And they're taking a look at it. And uh, yeah, they ma keep making jokes that it's like Freaky Friday. But it's not exactly Freaky Friday. And I do like the standalone episodes that do their own thing. So uh, there's a whole rake incident that happens and I don't think this character really used to talk before, but Gene, who had a, had some lines in the previous episode, um, they think he stole... Uh, Jerry thinks that Gene stole his rake, and he wants Rick's help. Well, this is the confusing part, because they, they start arguing with each other, and whoever's mind is a better mind, and, and blah, 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 and, and then it's... I felt they didn't do a good job of explaining this. They had to repeat what they had done at least three or four times in the episode until I think we finally got it. But Rick awakens in Jerry's body, and then he just blasts himself right in the head. And then as soon as Jerry wakes up in Rick's body, he almost kills himself or does kill himself by using Rick's R2-D2 body. So the computer puts them back together, but mixes all the parts together. So essentially what you have is part, it's it's not fully a Jerry and not fully a Rick. Rick. It's like bits and pieces. And almost the best explanation of it was Pocket Morty's at the end of the episode because they're explaining it's Rick Jerry and Jerry Rick. And then they get a call from a mafia boss and they're fighting and they find out that They've taken Morty by accident because Morty was selling crystals on on Rick's behalf. And then they start treating him nice, and there's a whole thing where uh, Jerry Rick ends up <laughs> using his cone head as a missile. He's like, when I went through my cone head face, he's like, it's a great movie. I mean, it's, it's an interesting movie. Interesting choice. Dan Aykroyd did that one. You check it out. It was a thing from SNL, and then they made a whole movie about it. Very, very bizarre movie. <laughs> but if you want something real weird, check it out. Uh, so then Rick and Jerry start to bond. They're, now they're friends because they kind of like each other because, you know, uh, Rick's got the whole, hey, man, nothing matters, man. And then Jerry's got some of Rick's intensity and intelligence. And they became a new. They become a new crime duo, stealing crystals from goon, uh, from uh, from goons like mafia goons. And I don't think they did a good job of explaining that they were Burger and Fries. Like that was their nickname, Burger and Fries. They kind of just like skipped over that part and were just sticking burgers in dead uh, bad guys' bodies. Uh, I I don't know. And then um, they had they they get a call. Chucksley comes back, the mafia boss, and he's kidnapped the whole family at this point. <clears throat> so they decide what's the best thing to do. They merge themselves into Jericki. <laughs> and Jericki, I did not see that coming. 
I did not see that coming. It definitely made me laugh. It made me take a step back because I was like, what the? Two, they were like, there's two heads stacked on top of each other and four arms. There's actually, I think, um, Summer makes a good joke about like, you may have four arms and four legs, but you're missing two sets of nuts. <laughs> that was a pretty good joke. So yeah, they were burger and fries when they were together. And um, <clears throat> apparently, after they had merged they step on on <laughs> on J- on Jerry's rake and that lets them realize like oh my gosh they're 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 trapped inside there and they want to get out so then they go back to normal fighting and and the whole thing and the post credit is memory rick was trying to fight to get out of Jerry's mind and Jerry just thinks every single machine ever is run by springs and cogs and and wheels and things like that so overall i'm a rating Normally, I'd go with a 10 out of 10, but in reality, the the real world, this was, uh, it was just okay. It was, it wasn't the most memorable episode. The most memorable thing about it was Jericky, and I, <laughs> I thought that was kind of amusing. Again, caught me off guard, did not expect that to happen, and uh, it was all right. It was pretty decent, but at this point, I just, I have to throw this out there. I hate to say it, Justin Roiland may have lost himself permanently a job because these guys are doing great. You don't have the drunk Rick. I don't think he has mastery of drunk Rick, but he it, uh, it does a hell of a job, and he's got that old Rick thing going. He's straight, straight shooting Rick. No more tricks, Rick. Straight shooting. That's right. He does. He's like missing the raspiness, but. And Morty was fine. Hello, I'm just dealing crystals, Rick. It's no big deal. Like, it was it was pretty good. So, what do you guys think? Are you still in it to win it? Are you still riding this train? I think it's okay. I think the first episode was, was all right. I think they went for too much shock value with having um, Hugh Jackman in it. I didn't think it was that funny. This one I thought was a little bit funnier. A little more pretty standard rick and morty fair i think what's really interesting is the first two episodes have barely the first episode was mostly rick and his friends then this episode was like okay we're gonna have rick and morty even though it's a jerry adventure and you can't go wrong with having jerry you just can't but he has to play off of somebody and then but you really haven't had any morty or or, uh summer and uh beth which i thought you would get more summer and beth from the teaser Maybe that was like they were trolling us, and that was a joke that they didn't really think we'd be in on. But anyway, I don't know. I like, I, it's okay so far. It's better than the previous season so far. We'll see where it goes. Not getting my hopes up yet, but I am cautiously optimistic because the voices sound fine. The humor's okay. It's not hysterical like it used to be, but it's still pretty decent. It hasn't completely jumped the shark yet, but. Time will tell. There's going to be a Keith David episode next with the president, so we'll see what that holds for. It's like they're let's bring out all the old favorites. Let's get a a Jerry and Rick episode. Let's get a Rick with his old friends episode. Let's get Rick with his president's episode, so that we we cover all the old things that you guys we know you guys like these things. So I would say they they're not exactly um, pushing boundaries, but it's all right. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. But if you could join us. We're going to have memberships and super chats and all that good stuff. We have a live stream. You can come join. Come party with us. It's a good time. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday nights. Come join us. Join the party. Give us a thumbs up, a like. You don't realize how much it helps. We really need that help. But for myself, I am on to the next one. 